Welcome to the Philippine Native Chicken Karagdagang Kaalaman Now down to what the technical feasibility Iba kasi ang uh, feasibility study than the technical feasibility. Ang uh, uh, feasibility study naman po that is uh, comprises the holistic approach to determine if the uh, implementation of the project is really feasible or not. But on the technical feasibility naman niya, we are this will be discussing more on what we call the uh, technology by itself. If you're going to adopt the technology of CPU, what then? Ano naman ngayon doon? Kaya nga, uh, from 2012 when we started this uh, project uh, started on the uh, CPU page, development of CPU page but uh, as we go along on years, we continually developing it but the technology to be developed at CPU po, it used to answer the problem, the demand, na the quality demanded by the market and the uh, raising requirement of the uh, uh, growers or the farmers The, the market is wanted for the chicken na hindi matigas giving what they call a tender juicy meat and they are paying at a premium price but when you say about premium price how premium is the premium so the premium price meaning that based on the experience that we have uh, the 275 if you, if you can further reduce it no, meaning that the number the number of uh, chicken that will be uh, sold out will be increase will, will, will increase no parang ganon yan and at the same time we are also answering the quest the the the, the, the uh, need of the racers to produce a chicken that is uh, in terms of the survival rate mataas in terms of uh, growing it no because the common problem that we have is that it took about four to five months before the native chicken can attain the marketable live weight of about 850 grams But at CPU, we are able to have it now in three months time. Uh, that is why that we are promoting this commercial scale of production. Now, if you want to produce a cleaner meat, a safer meat, now we are also producing what they call the uh, feeds. Now, whereby it is the formulation of it is uh, uh, utilizes no, the findings that we have in 2005. That in one formulation that we have, at least not less than 15 different feeds that are being used now in that formulations. And even for the medication, we are using what they call the plant extracts. That is why that right now, yung pinakamabilis na padala po natin in our cognitives all throughout the Philippines is the base mix. Actually, the base mix that we have, mas mura yan. Sana if uh, the, uh, the, the area of the racer is near to Iduilo, but we are still working on the possibility of uh, keeping authorized dealer in other regions so that the, uh, if we can have it sent in bulk no, para mas pamamura natin and that is on how we can help the racer I said the racer is that uh, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are clamoring about the very expensive pitch the very expensive pitch that is why at Central Philippine University no, uh, lucky those who are racers are near at CPU because they can avail Now this base mix at a less cost. Now, even the base mix that we have, and one way that we can help you know, to to increase the survival rate. Kaya nga sabi namin is that if you're going to compare the technology of CPU with those on the racer side on a backyard scale, po, we drastically reduce you know, the mortality. Now right now, uh, yung pinakamataas is 20%. And uh, one way on how we can effectively into those the treatment that we have that is why that we're using what they call the base mix medicated base mix uh, and uh, and the field trials that we have in Mindanao and Luzon area na uh, malaking breakthrough na po uh, in terms of survival rate uh, mataas po uh, there's no need for you to apply antibiotics then uh, again the quality of it, the meat of the chicken derived from this is uh, uh, ideal requirement for the uh, niche market and then the housing that we we are sharing to you now uh, we narrow down the technology into a practical means of housing that is why that 
we are recommending the design and the measurement but no, but in terms of material you can use what they call the locally available materials in terms of the market prospects no, of rice native chicken the no, market prospects Ayan nga, if you could still remember in my live stream program that uh, during the pandemic, the, the height of pandemic uh, last, I think, December, the, there are a number of uh, viewers na uh, sabi, Doc, uh, tanong sa akin, Doc, uh, what is your uh, uh, projection of the demand of native chicken after uh, the pandemic or after, 20, uh, after 2020? Sabi ko that... Uh, tataas talaga tataas bakit it is because na nakita mo dong premise it is because that I meant before december the presence of uh, african swine fever po no in luzon area po tumataas po uh, that is why that one of the uh, alternative uh, for the pork is the chicken and even in if you can still remember in the um, in my live stream program about the um, market outlook po na uh, in terms of native chicken po, the market outlook and uh, the prospects on it doon makikita po nyo that ang buyer po ng native chicken if you are going to raise native chicken identify where and who are your buyers uh, your buyers are those belonging on the middle and the upper class economic level of living and they are residing and they are residing in the urban barangays and spending uh, uh, almost 70% uh, of their earnings for expenses and out of that 70% almost uh, it ranges from uh, 5 majority of them uh, spending 5 to 8% of that expenditure that they have for meat product like chicken the per capita consumption is keep on increasing and increasing among those individuals but the problem that we have is that uh, on the trend in terms of uh, consuming fast growing pound kung makikita po nyo on that presentation that we have it is on a decreasing model why it is because they know now the side effect of eating uh dressed chicken now loaded with synthetic chemicals like antibiotic and growth promotant no, parang ganun yan. So meaning that the potential of this enterprise is there. As I, I, as I mentioned in my live stream program, totoo po yan. And I, can, I computed that way back on uh, uh, 2010 when, uh, when, uh, when I conducted my, my dissertation. The total requirement for the Philippines is about 238 million heads of native chicken. And that is very minimal and that is only 10% of the total dress broiler chicken now on 2019-2020 the, the, the dress chicken then was almost 2 billion heads of broiler were slaughtered uh, so meaning that still now their, 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 their opportunity behind raising native chicken and commercial scale only that the problem that we have is that and how you are going to start it and how the support services should be there and that is why that we put up the philippine native chicken facebook page that is for the technical support of those who will be engaging in commercial production of native chicken pag may ma problema kayo you can you can message us na kaya nga we are conducting what they call the survey so that we can also improve the delivery of uh, services that we can have among the racers of native chicken that is a specialized space again if you know some some, some somebody or friend of yours or family members of yours uh, planning to engage in this kind of venture please you know, share their, this page to them so those are what they call the market prospects and raising native chicken one is what they call the gestation period as potential risk in operation karamihan kasi sa tanong Maganda kasi tingnan yung manok na sobrang dami sa isang housing parang ganun ganito makikita nyo sa may baba na banda no? uh, sobrang dami yan but the problem is that uh, in, in, in venturing in, agri in, in, in agriculture project either it is on the animal or uh, crop project po there is always a gestation period uh, 
Uh, baka sabihin nyo, nagbubuntis ba yung manok? Nagbubunt <laughs> hindi po. Yung pala nagbubuntis, hindi po. Ibig sabihin po ng gestation period agriculture. Meaning that is the period whereby there is no inflow of cash in your operation. Yung kung bakit na isa to sa mga risk na nakita namin in the operation of native chicken. The newbies have the capital to invest. Have the capital to invest in this kind of uh, project. Ang nagiging problema lang nila is this one. They fall short in terms of the the operation cost. Na uh, bakit po? Uh, yung operation cost kasi nila akala nila uh, tapos na, na. Uh, but they forget that uh, yung operation kasi day to day experiences expenses that they have na parang nawala na ata. So, parang, parang, parang ganun po kasi yung problema natin. Uh, uh, that is why that uh, in terms of operating this kind of project, remember always there is a gestation period. And that is one of the great risk that the newbies will encounter. Tandaan natin, if you'll be raising chicken for the purpose of making it grown until it reaches the marketing age po, you need about three months. If you get to start it on the uh, the old chicks, ibig sabihin po within the three months, no no income will be realized. Meaning, meaning that you are going to pour in some amount on it. Yung kung bakit ada pat pagisipan po yun yan. Uh, we'll be discussing that more that more on details when we when we when we will be conducting webinar specific for that production scheme. And if you'll be raising chicken for the purpose of producing the old chicks, alam nyo kung ilang buwan ang gestation period niya, we are recommending that possibly na start the pluck, start the pluck po when they're about 4 months old. 4 months old. But do not incubate the eggs if your if your hen is less than 7 months. Bakit po? Ibig sabihin po niyan, pag maliliit yung heat log, Maliit yung sisil. Pag maliit yung sisil, mas mabilis na puan ng sakit. That is why that we are waiting for about 7 months before it will be uh, incubated. O ilang buwan yan? 4, 5, 6, 7, 3 buwan. And still, we will be waiting for another 3 months before that the old chicks will be uh, dressed. Ibig sabihin po, you will be waiting for about 6 months. There is no inflow of cost for that month. That is why that even though that will be uh, selling also uh, unviable eggs for eggs, unviable for incubation, but uh, their number is not enough to cover up your operation. If you could still remember in some of my uh, presentations, sabi ko nga that preferably before you start a project, pwede mga tanim muna kayo ng saging o di kaya yung mga mabilis na na pagkukunan po nyo ng uh, extra capital for the operation. Yan kasi, <laughs> dito po ang pagkamali po ng iba na they, 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 they have uh, underestimated the operation. Ay, nako. The operation for the native chicken, lalo na pang in-commercial scale, sometimes, na, not only not sometimes, but most of the time, when you encounter problem, pag hindi po matagunan, ibig sabihin po problema ang dulot yan. That is why that the technical support uh, of the preventive chicken is always here no, para po nakatulong po sa inyo. And uh, you are lucky if you're only be producing the old chicks. Bakit po? Because kung the old chicks lang, ibig sabihin po uh, 5, 6, 7, 3 months, and then on the 8 months, meron ka ng sisil para ibinta. But remember always that not all of the chicks that you're producing will be sold out in the market. Dapat you have some provisions na pwede na hindi pabinta po, you can have it with all in your farm. Parang ganun yan. So that's all about the webinar.